Good evening, and here we are back with War Spite the Wargamer. That's this fella here. Subject of tonight's talk is model making on a budget. This can apply to wargaming, model railway, any sort of small scale project which requires art materials, glues, adhesives, paint brushes, etc. etc. By way of a admission, I should point out I've not received any funding or payment etc. from any company to mention their name. I would point out that I do hold customer cards for the works and Hobbycraft. Those two will be mentioned in due course amongst others. So starting with, so first of all, paintbrushes. Some of you will be familiar with small scale paintbrushes that you require for modelling projects. If you pop into certain well known high street stores, they will charge you an awful lot of money for one brush. I've seen uh, prices upwards of eight or nine pounds, sometimes 12 pounds, being charged for one high quality 304050 brush. And that's the well known high street shop. Little trip down to the works can furnish you with these. Some of them are manufactured under the Boldmere name, others come in under the name of Croft and Black. Um, I have seen similar packagings to this Boldmere stuff available in the range. Uh, close examination suggests it's probably manufactured by the same company. Very similar spec, very similar packaging, different colour, different name, and they charge about a pound more in the range, but still not a bad deal. So what do you get? Well, for example, for four pounds, this one is from um, the works. I haven't found a use of that fanned brush, but the others in there, little bullet tips, are superb for painting figures. I found those very useful painting 15mm, they work with 28s no problem at all. The range furnished me with these. Again, very fine quality, and I don't think they can me make more than about four or five pounds. The works, Crawford and Black again, as you can see here, and this is a set, a set of brushes for three pounds. What do you get? Well, the big sponge brushes, probably not a great deal of use for painting model soldiers, rather handy for terrain. And also, if you ever need to put on PVA adhesive, these larger brushes here will be fabulous. However, what I like in these little sets is these little white ones. These ones here and there. Absolutely ideal for putting PVA onto the bases around 15mm figures. Wash clean, come up lovely. And then you've got these little chisel ended or flat ended brushes which are handy for dry brushing projects. What else we got? Nice big flat artist brushes, again bulb mirror. This is four pounds from the works. And Crawford and Black again. What else can the works do us? I was in there the other day, I managed to pick up one of these. Again this is the works, three pounds uh, self, they describe it as self healing, but it's just it, damage resistant cutting mat. Three quid, not a bad deal. Currently out of stock, because I've been trying to get some more, are these puppies wooden discs. You get a packet of, I think it's 99 or 100, 110 in a pack, three sizes of wooden discs. Um, if you wanted these for war game bases, I think this is actually a penny size. Uh, 110 for two quid. I don't think any war game base company in Britain makes them for cheaper. They're a thin, um, looks like a sort of very thin three ply. I've tried putting PVA adhesive over them, I've never had them warp. That's two pounds for 110. That's in the works. What else we got? 
pound shops. Pound shops you probably found already, but watch out for Yoohoo. I love Yoohoo. It's a great glue, does all sorts of jobs, and if you can get it in this size from the pound shop or similar, quid. I normally have about a dozen of these kicking around, some in my work, work box, some in my uh, war games area, some in my art room. However, my local branch of the pound shop has had a little bit of a crisis with the boxes. They all come in boxed, but half of them are the smaller size tube. And the only way you can tell, the, tell them apart is they have a little black square somewhere in this area, or a little bit of black marking on the packaging. However, if you shake them, you can hear lots and lots of movement as if there's a small tube slapping around. That's because it's a half size tube. This is the full size tube, hardly any movement, you don't have to open the box, but you just hear there's nothing there. That's the one you want. Pound. So that's Pound Shop. What else have we got? Pound Shops again, and Wilco's. Poster paints. What have we got? Uh, this one and this one came from Wilco's. These I think came from a pound shop. And you can also get them in, um, again, um, the works. Works do Crawford and Black. These here, as you can see, are terrain colours, greens and blues for the sea. I wouldn't want to use my high quality paints. I wouldn't want to use my uh, the good stuff like Tamiya or Citadel paints to paint up terrain. But if you're painting bases, hills, the sea, anything you like, this lovely chalky, rather thick uh, poster paint type of acrylic, absolutely ideal. So if you're a wargamer on a budget, if you're looking to save money, great for that. So that's again the Pound Shops and Wilco. Now I'm going to return briefly again to the works with the other great little saver, books. I am the original bibliophile. And these puppies here all came out of the works. Uh, we had a run of medieval books, probably all back uh, end of line stuff left over from the Richard III and Bosworth developments. Look at the prices. These are £9 books, £10 books, £3, £3, £3. Not a bad deal. Kept me very happy and I am a wargamer on a budget. A few weeks ago popped in there and the works have started getting a few hardbacks in. This one turned up. Mortar Gunner on the Eastern Front. This one I believe is £25, reduced to 7 in hardback. Not a big area for me, the Eastern Front, but worth a read. Popped in there yesterday. What did they have? Normandy is one of my big periods. This is the Sherwood Rangers. They were one of the regiments that went ashore with DDs on uh, D-Day. And they fought all the way through Europe with Shermans and Sherman Fireflies. Fabulous book. £25 retail. They're doing it for 12 By the time I used my customer card, which was this one, I knocked another two quid off. So I got this for £12. £12 reduced to about 10 What's in it? Some of the best sets of battle maps I've ever seen. The authors also managed to track down, in some cases, aerial photography, actually showing the tanks in progress and showing where they're going. If you've got a serious interest in the Normandy campaign 1944, strongly recommend that. And that is again from the works. Um, last thing, lastly, lastly but leastly, you will of course have seen lots of people using clippers. Clippers are great. They cost 10, 12, whatever pounds from Tamiya. They cost me about four pounds. They're toenail clippers. However, if you want to get your plastic off your sprue without damaging your plastic parts, Pound Shop, Superdrug, even go down to a charity shop, old toenail clippers, ideal. Anyway, this is Wasp by Out, and have a good night.